computing the length of the string happens to be one of the most basic programs which would be asked for a job aspirant in as far as the placement interviews are concerned in fact in this video let's understand how to compute the length in a programming language like c as well as in case of java so let's get started let me begin by considering a string abc text in my previous episode, I have told you that a programming language like C is going to treat it as an array of characters and this is how it's going to be stored in the memory unit. I would call my array as X. And not just that, I have also told you in my previous episode that a programming language like C is going to append automatically a null character towards the end of the string and this is what it does. All that I have to do in my program now is to compute its length. Even before I go ahead and write a program, let me tell you, the length happens to be 8. I'll count it for you. A, B, C, space, T, E, C, H. So, the total length happens to be 8. Of course, the null character I wouldn't be considering when I'm going to compute the length of the string. So, how do we do this programmatically? Let's begin. If I have to compute the length of the string, all that I need to do is to create two variables. One variable called count, which I would be using to count the total number of characters present in the string. Another variable i, which I would be using to travel along the array till I encounter the null character. And not just that, both these variables, I will have to initialize them to zeros like this. All that I need to do is verify the value of x of i each time as long as x of i is not equal to the null character i have to keep incrementing the count and i have to keep incrementing i whatever i have expressed orally i'm going to write it in the form of a pseudocode like this so let's apply this logic on the array for the first time my x of i happens to be a and a is not equal to null so i am going to increment the count as well as increment i the next time my x of i happens to be b again it is not equal to null so i'm going to increment the count as well as increment i the next time as well my x of i is c and it is not equal to null so i'm going to increment the count and i the next time as you can notice my x of i is blank but let me tell you the blank is different null is different in fact null is still way far ahead in my array so because blank is also not equal to null i am going to increment the count as well as increment i this way if i keep proceeding finally we reach a point where x of i happens to be now this logic is such a logic which clearly specifies that as long as x of i is not equal to null that it keeps proceeding as of now x of i is null so the control is going to come out of this loop and once it comes out of the loop all that i have to do is to print the count value like this and as you can see, when I'll print the count value, I would get my output as 8 because that is the data present in count. Anyway, how to write a complete program, I'll explain. I can begin my program by creating a string ABC text. Obviously, this string, I would be storing it inside a character array. If I have to compute its length, you know that I need two variables, one variable called count, another variable called i, both of which I would be initializing it to zero like this. Next, I just have to convert this pseudocode into the programming code in a language like C. And how do I do that? Very simple. This as long as can be written in a programming language as while. And this x of i not equal to null can be written in a programming language like this and the body of the while loop of incrementing count and i can be written this way and finally the print can be written like this in fact 
the full program looks like this and when i'll execute i'll get the output so i'm sure you've been able to understand as to how we can count the total number of characters present in a string in case of c language but is there a much simpler method yes let me explain in c language we have something called as the library file and the library functions using which this program can be coded in just two lines of code well in the first line i am going to create a character array and store the data in that and in the second line i am going to make use of my inbuilt library function called string length of course if i have to make use of string length i will also have to include a header file called string.h i know the words library file the word library function are all new to you and maybe in some other video i would certainly speak more on that but as of now when i'll execute this is the output as you can see i can obtain the length using the inbuilt function called string length however in the placement interview process this is what would be precisely told to you that you are not supposed to make use of any library function and that's the reason why i have taught you the previous program nevertheless the larger challenge is how are we going to compute the length of the string in case of java because string in java is not a character array string in java is an object you have understood it through my previous episode how do we compute the length because we have two big challenges there firstly the string in java doesn't end with a null character so how on earth are you going to know if you have really reached the end of the string and secondly in case of java it doesn't permit you to access the individual characters directly then how are you going to count if you are not allowed to access the individual characters directly well if you want to know the answer watch my video.